All right, what's up guys? Welcome to another Magic Arena video. Uh, this is the second one. I do want to go ahead and mention, as I did with the first one, if the quality of the actual video itself, of the game itself, is a little bit bad, it's just because I'm running on a virtual machine on a Mac, and so running OBS, running the virtual machine, running Arena, takes up a little bit more uh, uh, hardware than I actually need it to, and so for that reason I've had to dim down some of the graphics a little bit. If it looks a little choppy, I do apologize, but today, we are going to play a blue-white kind of prison control list. Uh, this is one that I've kind of, I saw floating around actually with casual games, and I really, really like it. Uh, it's all kind of based around a bunch of these new planeswalkers. Uh, Narset, Kazmina, uh, Teferi is in there, of course, but then Dovin, uh, Hand of Control is as well. All of these cards are really, really good at shutting down what the opponent is doing. So, uh, Narset here basically keeps any of the big draw decks from being able to draw a bunch of their cards on the turns uh, that they really, really need it. And so shuts down a lot of the blue-red lists, a lot of things like that. It's really, really fantastic for that. Uh, Dovin Hand of Control is great for just kind of stalling out the opponent a little bit. It's a huge tempo swing to make all of their spells cost one more. Uh, and so for doing that, it really, really punches out and stalls the game. It also is a good way to kind of uh, tap down some of their threats. This this deck doesn't necessarily deal with creatures super, super well, uh, and so this is one way that we can kind of negate the abilities or the, the uh, attack of some of the opposing creatures, which is fantastic. Kazmina is also great at protecting all of our other planeswalkers. She's really, really good at that. Uh, she does also spit out some 2-2 tokens, so it gives us a little bit of an out if we need to swing in for a few uh, points of damage. It's a good way to do that. Uh, I really, really like Kazmina actually quite a lot. She is one of the more expensive ones. Obviously not quite as expensive, though, as Teferi. Teferi's just kind of the end game. Uh, drawing a card, leaving up counters by untapping some stuff. Uh, and then it also gives us a way to deal with uh, non-land permanents on the opponent's side of the field. So it's actually really, really good for that as well. Uh, as far as interaction goes, we do have the Veto. This is a new card from War of the Spark. I really, really have found this to be a fantastic card. Uh, the fact that it can't be countered just gives it so much more uh, just influence over the game. It's not just a regular counter spell that then you get into a counter war over. This really just shuts things down. Really, really fantastic. Spell Pierce is really good also at uh, protecting some of our Planeswalkers and things like that, and then also dealing with opposing Planeswalkers before they can even hit the board. Uh, we do have a lot of draw, Radical Idea, Opt, uh, Chemister's Insight. That's just to help us dig as much as possible uh, into all of these Planeswalkers that ideally lock the opponent just completely out of the game. Uh, we do run one blink of an eye. This is kind of a filler card. Uh, I'm As far as Arena goes, I kind of just started really playing over the last couple weeks, and so I didn't have everything that I'd actually like for this deck in here yet. Uh, Blink of an Eye is just kind of a decent catch-all. It deals with non-land permanents. It also draws you a card if you need it to. Uh, and so I found it to be kind of an okay stand-in for some other stuff that I would probably rather have in here. Uh, we do have a one of Cleansing Nova as well, deals with creatures, uh, but it also gives us the flexibility with artifacts and enchantments if we really need to. So really, really like this. I found that you really only need one copy of this. Uh, you usually are digging through your deck pretty quickly, uh, and because most of our draw spells, in fact, all of our draw spells, if I'm not mistaken, are instant speed, uh, you can really pick and choose when you'd like to draw these cards. You also, with Radical Idea and Chemister's Insight because of Jumpstart, uh, you also get a way to uh, get double use out of all these draw spells. And then on top of that, if you've got Planeswalkers out and you draw a, a duplicate, you can toss that one or you can toss another Radical Idea or something like that. Um, a new card that I am trying out, uh, Finale of Glory. This is just another way to kind of end the game. Uh, I've found that this deck is really good at locking out the opponent, but not necessarily great at just ending the game fairly quickly. Uh, and so Finale is a good way of just flooding the board with a bunch of stuff and then hopefully being able to take over eventually. Uh, we do run two of those. And then, of course, your standard land base, though we do, unfortunately, I only have one, but we do have Karn's Bastion as a way of proliferating onto uh, all of our Planeswalkers at once and getting extra uses out of them. Uh, especially to Fairy, if somehow we can get to that ultimate, is fantastic. So that's kind of the deck. Uh, again, uh, there are cards that I would much rather have in this list. I'm probably going to do a, a future video on that, so I didn't want to spoil too much there. I also want to point out that this could very easily just be an Esper control list. Uh, I think there's a lot of really cool interaction with Ashiok as well as Kaya, the previous Kaya. 
Uh, so if you can kind of bring those two together to start exiling cards, that could be a very good easy win con versus uh, dealing with creatures and stuff like that. So uh, that might be another potential video as well down the road, but without further ado, excuse me, we'll go ahead and get into game one. All right, here we are for game number one. Uh, we are against Pixel Falcon, and this is actually a pretty strong opener in my opinion. So we do have some turn two interaction, which is good. And then our turn three Planeswalkers are really, really strong. Uh, and so I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep this uh, pretty easy turn one Hollowed Fountain and then uh, leaving up Dovin's uh, Veto on the next turn. So we'll see what comes out. Looks like we are up against the White Life Gain deck. I do just also wanna mention uh, we are just playing casual. This is all just to kind of test these new cards and things like that. So I'm not playing ranked or anything, uh, but hopefully things go well. We will see. Uh, I actually really like this life gain deck. It's really sweet, and it is a bit of a problem for this deck uh, solely because, again, it doesn't super deal with creatures very well. And unfortunately, we don't actually have uh, any of our, our cleansing Nova in particular, which is a great way to kind of dig and deal for this. So... Uh, hopefully we get something interesting here, but I think our first uh, thing that we need to do is we should probably Narset. Uh, Dovin's not going to do too much here just because their instants and sorceries, they're probably not going to have too many of them. Uh, Narset digs us a little bit further. Hopefully finding that cleansing Nova is really the goal. So we'll go ahead and use her. Uh, see what we get. Unfortunately, we do not get uh, Cleansing Nova, but I think I will get Radical Idea. It gives us a draw spell, uh, which is hopefully going to dig us into it. Uh, unfortunately, this is going to end very, very quickly if we do not get that Cleansing Nova in the next turn. Uh, so that's okay. You can Exxon's Binding that. That's not a huge deal. Um, let's see. Yeah. So we've literally got a turn. I don't think there's anything we can do here, guys. Uh, so let's... Yeah, unfortunately, there's just nothing we can do with this. Uh, we can Kazmina and get a 2-2, but that's really not enough. So I'm going to go ahead and concede. Unfortunately, not a good matchup for us. Uh, not much else I could have done on that game, unfortunately. But uh, I guess we'll go into match two. All right, here we are for game two against Birney, uh, nine, hilarious name, actually. Uh, again, we saw the pitfall of this deck in the last match. Unfortunately, it's not great against uh, creature uh, aggro decks and things like that. Uh, this hand is really interesting because it does have a lot of the Planeswalkers that we want, and it does have a little bit of interaction with Absorb, but it doesn't really do anything on the first couple turns, and I'd rather, I think, uh, get at least a couple early draw spells. This may be wrong, but I am going to go ahead and mulligan this, and we'll see what we get. Ooh. Uh, it's rough with the two Teferis, but we do have Spell Pierce as well as Radical Idea, so for that reason, I'm going to keep uh, Absorb. Probably good enough to keep on top, uh, as it is just a catch-all counter, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave that one on top for now. It isn't one of our like payoff planeswalkers by any means, uh, and we do certainly want to find a land in the first couple turns, but we do have Radical Idea to help us get there. Uh, and if we need to reuse it, we can always pitch one of the Teferis or the Spell Pierce uh, if we find that we're really not up against a, uh, a deck that really needs it. Uh, this looks like, again, another creature-based deck, but uh, probably a little bit more ramping uh, thanks to that Lanawar Elf, so I'm hoping it's not as aggro-y. Red's a bad sign. That definitely says aggro, uh, but we will see what they have. Yep, the goblin. This card, I've actually seen a good bit of this card recently. Uh, it is quite good, in my opinion. I'm going to go ahead and pass just on the off chance that I can spell pierce something, but I really doubt it. Uh, if nothing else, I will radical idea at the end of the turn. Um, let's see. Yep. Yep, yep. Another goblin. Unfortunately, that's going to be a bad sign for us. Lots of damage coming at us here. Uh, only three, actually. Uh, so I am just going to go ahead and draw here. I don't think it really matters if I do that at the end of the turn or not. Hit for three. So we definitely play Island and pass. Uh, if we don't find, I mean, we'll probably absorb whatever it is that they do that's going to gain us a little bit of life to hopefully keep us alive. Uh, yeah, so we will counter that. 
gain ourselves a couple of life back, which of course is going to get taken right away again, but it does uh, hopefully keep us alive for another turn or two. Uh, again, let's see. I think what we want to do is opt first uh, and then be able to radical idea after the fact if need be. Spell Pierce, definitely not what we want here. Uh, Devin's Veto, really not great either, to be honest. Uh, unfortunately, it's probably just not going to hit much in their deck. Creature-based decks, unfortunately, they're going to be uh, the bane of this deck's existence. Uh, but I will say, uh, I do think that's definitely fixable. I think uh, adding a couple more either Cleansing Novas or some kind of Sweepers, there's even the new Sweeper from War of the Spark, uh, could definitely, definitely be helpful. Uh, so we'll see. I do know that this deck likes to run the enchantment that gives everything riot. Uh, so if they play that, we will, of course, veto it. Uh, but it looks like they're not. So I'm just going to go ahead and radical idea. Okay. So we literally have to Teferi putting uh, one of these goblins on top of the deck. I don't think even that does enough, though, uh, with the riot. Uh, oh, it's third from the top, excuse me. Uh, so it might be, we'll see. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Theoretically, that keeps us alive for a turn, uh, but that's probably not going to be enough here. We are also short on white, uh, so even if we draw Cleansing Nova, we're not in a good position. Uh, we can also, obviously, Teferi, if they don't kill Teferi, which they probably will. No, they're just going to go straight for me. Okay. And that's it. Unfortunately, not a very exciting game two either. Uh, so we are getting really, really beaten down by these aggro decks. And that's okay. That's part of the pitfall of this deck. I do think sweepers are going to be hugely helpful. Uh, so probably adding that in is a good idea. But this is just first round. Uh, so we'll see how things go in game three. All right, here we are for game three against Chaliz. I hope that I'm saying that correctly. Uh, but again, we've seen the pitfalls of this deck. Uh, pretty, pretty major pitfalls, unfortunately, against some of these creature decks. This is an interesting hand. It has a lot of turn early turn draw, which I do like. It's also got three lands, which is pretty perfect. Uh, gives us a Narset on turn three, so I do think I'm going to keep that. Uh, white deck, hopefully not. Ah. Uh, Again, all these aggro decks, unfortunately. Uh, so we will just run out uh, Island and pass. Leave up Spell Pierce, but most likely we'll just be opting at the end of the turn. Now this deck is really interesting. I have seen this one running around as well. It's the Legionnaire deck, so they run quite a, a high number of just cheap interactive spells uh, that can buff this guy up like crazy. Uh, it's really sweet, actually. I like the deck a lot. That's one that I've kind of toyed around with wanting to do. Uh, just missing a few of the pieces, uh, but we'll see what we get. Um, to fairy, so we'll put glacial fortress out, and again we're gonna have to pass. Uh, removal is definitely this deck's big weakness. I do think there's something with this that uh, will be really really sweet if we can get it off the ground, uh, but we definitely need a few more pieces of removal than this. Go ahead and pass. And we'll just go ahead and Radical Idea here. Uh, we don't have much else, else of an option, to be honest. All right, so what do we have? We have Narset, which does uh, dig us deeper. Uh, other than that, it's Opt and then Radical Idea. That's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and Narset. I think it sees more cards, so it's worth doing uh, here. So, Finale of Glory, I think that's what we're going to need to do. Yeah, we just need to get something out uh, on the board to somewhat deal with some of this stuff. Oops. This is a really interesting card. I want this to be good. I don't know that it's at its best here, uh, but I thought I would give it a shot. So, they did decide to go down on Narset with that. Uh, which does make sense, targeting uh, a lot of the cards that target this uh, draw you a card as well. Sorry for the freeze up there as well. Uh, okay, so I don't really like to do this, but we're going to have to Hollow Fountain uh, pay to and then uh, go ahead and do this for uh, two tokens. 
Uh, obviously, that's not amazing, but it does at least give us a couple of blocks here. Uh, we will be able to Teferi next turn, which could be quite good. Uh, being able to bounce uh, this Feather, I think, is going to be a big deal, or even the Legionnaire if need be. They must not have much in the way of uh, spells to buff the Legionnaire, otherwise I feel like they would have attacked there. Uh, it seems kind of interesting that they would not have uh, another of those. That's interesting. Uh, so we'll go ahead and play the Bastion, and then we'll play Teferi. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and uh, bounce the Feather. And then at the very least, this uh, delays things a bit. Uh, they still do have the Hawk, which is going to be able to get in for some damage. Uh, again, we're really hoping to dig for uh, Cleansing Nova is really the big one here. Uh, I've found that this deck is really, really good against uh, just long-term game plans. Not so good, obviously, uh, against all these creature decks, uh, which is fine. I mean, that that's definitely the uh the downside to playing stuff like this but and i do think here uh we definitely yeah we just lose i believe targeting that if they'd keep just targeting that then no we don't okay there we go so yeah we just lose unfortunately no wins with this deck. Uh, we had no wins with the previous deck either, but that's okay. Uh, it was a lot of fun testing this one. We will revisit this, of course, uh, but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a list to play around with. Hopefully you in, uh, enjoyed this video. Watching me lose is always fun. Uh, but with that, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next Magic Arena video.